Hey guys, thanks very much for tuning in to tonight's episode of Ludicrous Feed. We uh, not only review and talk about Teslas, about their cars, but also about Tesla's energy solution, the Tesla Powerwall 2, their home battery solution, which I have in my garage. This one is the version 2, which has 13.5 kilowatt hours, uh, which is enough to power me for most of the evening after a day's worth of charging in the sun. So today I just wanted to talk to you about um, the issues I've had in the last 24 hours with regards to its latest firmware update, uh, version 1.12.0. Uh, so this uh, new firmware was updated about two days ago uh, and I noticed that yesterday morning at about 6.35 a.m. in the morning when I woke up, the Powerwall 2 app, which I have on my phone, uh, stopped showing any data. So normally I see how much input is coming in from the sun, how much output I'm using for the house, how much uh, it's coming from the grid versus the sun versus the Powerwall 2. Uh, except on this occasion at 6.35 a.m. it basically stopped showing me that data. That's happened before in the last six months that I've had this Powerwall 2 so I thought nothing of it. I thought I'd leave it alone for the day and it should resolve itself. However, when I came back in the evening it was uh, basically the same situation, no data. This morning, same thing. I went outside to check my meter box. Uh, all the breaker switches made sure they were all still working. My uh, inverter, my solar panels still showed um, an output so I knew that was working fine so I decided to put a call into Tesla's uh, Powerwall 2 support and uh, basically I patched through to the United States to their call center which I presume is in California uh, they essentially told me to switch the Powerwall off uh, here on the unit and also on the breakers, uh, circuit breakers switch which I did uh, that didn't work um, so I called them again and this time they suggested I do it for 10 minutes so um, on the side of the power wall and I'll show a video of this there is a uh, green bar which indicates uh, whether it's charging or discharging or whether it's idle so apparently this green bar of light has to uh, be switched off completely that's how you know it's basically turned off um, so you gotta wait for that bar to turn black and then um, that takes about five to ten minutes apparently and then when it's dark um, switch the circuit breaker switch back on and also the power wall itself back on so voila that uh, that's uh, what I did and it switched on after ten minutes and everything's working fine again so I'm pretty happy with that so uh, it's good to know I learned that lesson today um, just in case you guys out there have a power wall too as well um, with the latest firmware patch. I don't know whether it's the firmware update or whether it's my Powerwall 2 uh, But I can tell you it's been working fine up till last weekend when um, when the firmware patch was uh, when the firmware was patched So it could be that I don't know I'm not 100% sure but whatever the case this happened uh, and now I've got uh, a way to reset the Powerwall 2 um, And I suggest that you do that as well if that happens to your Powerwall 2 after this update all right, well, I learned something new today. I learned that uh, the quick way to reset is to uh, turn it off for 10 minutes at both the switch and the circuit breaker. Hope that helps you. And thanks very much for watching. Have a great evening. And as always, happy charging. Hey, thanks for watching. And thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe. We would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging!